Hi guys and uh, welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, in this section we start to look at uh, the idea of keeping the sound, the background sound across scenes. So again just to show you here I've got my first level and in my first level I've got um, an, an object called BG sound and this BG sound is playing uh, the, the audio called indoor BG sound. The only thing is that whenever I choose to uh, collect boxes and move up to the next level, uh, the only issue is that this uh, sound will not play anymore. So what I'd like to do is to keep this sound playing whenever I go to the next scene. To do so, I'm going to open my script called control sound and just so that you know, you probably, you probably know that already, but whenever you load a new scene, the content of the current scene is, is deleted uh, and the content of the new scene is loaded. So effectively, if you change scene, the script and the object called BG Sound will not be available anymore. So we need to find a way to be able to keep this object called BG Sound. And uh, one of the ways that we can do that is to use the function called um, awake. So again, uh, what we're saying is that whenever you, 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 you open the scene for the first time, we're going to specify to Unity that we don't uh, want to destroy uh, this, um, this object. So again, we just say don't destroy unload. And again, it's going to be uh, game object dot transform. So again, uh, awake is a built-in function and don't, don't destroy onload just means that we will not destroy this specific game object and, and the transform that is associated to this game object and which means that if we uh, go to the next level the sound in the BG sound object will be kept so let's save this script go back to unity again making sure that uh, uh, we can um, um, that we can uh, compile the script and then I will just play uh, the scene. So again, just going to uh, play here for the first level. And what should happen is that, um, again, after a few seconds, so whenever the scene is starting, you should hear the background sound. And if I collect boxes, as I usually do, you should be able to go to the next level and the sound will still be there. I can still hear it. I hope that you can. Okay, so again, a very simple way to, to, to do this information now. What you probably seen is that, um, again, I'm going straight to the next level because, again, my number of um, uh, box collected has not, be, has not been reset to zero because I didn't actually load the splash screen. Usually it's done in the splash screen. That's the reason why we go straight to the second level after collecting only one box. However, you can see that or hear that the sound is actually kept between scenes. So again, it's a nice feature to have. And again, we could do the exact same as well for the user interface. And we will look at that in the next section.